Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, if you guys are new here, consider subscribing because this is a great channel where you guys can find out a lot of information about the MCAT, about the med school application process, um, and anything pre-med related. And so in today's video, guys, I want to start off with giving you guys a huge announcement. And it's something I haven't told you guys yet. And that is that I'm going to be taking the MCAT in two days. And yes, it is going to be my second time taking the MCAT. Um, I'm not too thrilled about having to take it again, but um, my score was pretty low the first time around. And I don't feel bad telling you guys that because um, I know a lot of you out there have very low MCAT scores and are looking for guidance. And that is why I'm here. Um, I'm not here to tell you that getting into med school is easy because you guys all know that that is not true. And I don't just want to be another one of those YouTube guys that just tells you all of the easy and positive things there is to know about getting into medical school because it is a long journey for a lot of people. And that is a side of the story that most of us never see or hear about. And so I'm here to just tell you guys the truth and I'm willing to answer any of your guys' questions or give you guys any advice on how to study better for the MCAT or how to get into medical school with a low GPA possibly. So if you guys have any questions about those types of things, hit me down in the comments below and I will be sure to get back to you guys. And so guys, if you've been following me and you've seen some of my videos, that you know that most of my videos are pretty formal in the sense of I just sit here and I give you guys advice on the med school application process and how to study for the MCAT and just good study resources. Um, but in today's video, I kind of want to just be a little more informal, kind of more vlog style, um, and kind of see what your guys' feedback is on that. If you guys want me to do uh, more vlogs and more informal type of videos where you guys can see the day-to-day -day things that I do. Because um, a lot of you, if you haven't been around, by the way, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing right now um, because it helps out the channel and it helps me um, reach a lot more pre-med students so that they can get um, the information that they're searching for. But if you guys haven't been here before, welcome. Um, and you probably don't know that I'm in a special master's program currently. So I do my master's program at Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences, and that is a DO school. And for a lot of people, that is a tier one DO school. So it's probably one of the best DO schools that you can go to. Um, it's pretty difficult to get into the school. So that is why I'm doing the master's program so that I can, first of all, improve my science GPA. The other thing that these master's programs do is they give you a much better chance of getting into medical school. So if you look at a lot of the statistics nowadays, you're going to start seeing that a lot of these medical schools are accepting master level students. So um, it's becoming even more competitive than just getting your undergrad. Um, a lot of students are having to go and get a master's degree at these special, um, in these special master's programs in order to get into medical school. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, and like I said, I am taking the MCAT in two days. So I basically just want to tell you guys um, a few things that I think are important that you should be doing before um, your test date. And one of those things I want to do right now with you guys is take you on a ride along because I want to go look for the testing center. Um, the worst thing you can do is not know where the testing center is on the day of your test because you're going to be stressed out already. And so the last thing you want to do is be searching for the testing center. So I'm two days out from the MCAT, and I want to go see where I'm actually going to be taking the test, where I'm going to be parking my car, and all of those little details. So with that being said, let's head out. <laughs>
what should I eat for lunch halfway through the MCAT? Um, that's honestly been my biggest worry these last few days. Um, it's kind of stupid, but um, the test is seven hours long and I don't want to bring something that's going to be like disgusting, you know, four hours into the MCAT. Um, so I don't know. I was thinking like just like a peanut butter sandwich, just something high in carbs and fat so that I will have like energy to tackle the psychology section at the very end. Um, so if you guys have taken the MCAT already, you know, what have you guys eaten during the during your breaks? Um, and if you haven't taken it, then what do you guys think you'll bring um, to the MCAT when you actually take it? All right, so I made it to the testing center. Um, found out where it's at. It's always a confusing big building. Um, so it's that huge building. Um, but you had to go all the way to the basement um, to find the testing center. Um, but we found it, so I feel good about where um, I need to go on testing day. So I think one of the most important ways you can prepare for your MCAT, um, and this is just a few days before your MCAT, and that is to eat a lot of carb dense foods because your brain is going to use carbs um, to think during the MCAT. Um, your brain loves carbs and that's its primary uh, source of fuel. Um, the brain only uses fats um, in periods of starvation and that is like extreme starvation, not necessarily like a keto diet. So your brain wants carbs. So a few days before the MCAT, start eating a lot of carb-dense foods so that you can really maximize your glycogen stores in your liver. Um, and so when you're you know, feeling really tired in the MCAT, um, those glycogen stores will be used and your brain will have enough fuel to really get you through those final sections of the MCAT. Another piece of advice that you guys should be doing a few days before the MCAT is really hydrating yourself. Water sucks. Gatorade is better. Um, there's nothing worse than going into a seven hour test and feeling dehydrated or thirsty. Um, you, may, you may not even feel thirsty, but your body needs a lot of fluids in order to be able to think properly for that amount of time. Um, this isn't a easy test and you're gonna be using your brain for longer than you ever used it at one period of time. So you really want to make sure that your body has the fuel and nutrients that it needs in order to perform at its best. So we're back from uh, seeing the testing center. I did find it. Um, it took about 25 minutes to get there. Um, so that's just one less thing I have to worry about for testing day. Um, so I highly encourage all of you to find your testing center before your MCAT date. Um, that way you don't have to stress the morning of your MCAT because you'll have enough to worry about anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming with me to find the testing center for my MCAT, which is in two days. Um, so I'm pretty excited. I feel pretty calm and relaxed about it. So hopefully that will result in a much higher score than I did the first time. And so if you guys haven't subscribed yet, this would be a great time to just hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps out the channel. Now stay tuned because I'm going to be coming out with another video about how my MCAT went. I'm going to be telling you guys from start to finish how I felt. Um, what the test proctors do. So if you're interested in knowing all the little details that go into MCAT test day, like the actual day, then stick around because I'm gonna be coming out with another video specifically about that. And then I just wanted to remind you guys that if you wanted to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, 
You could hit me up on Facebook. Um, it's Med School Mentor. That's the Facebook page. Just shoot me a message and I will be able to respond to you guys very quickly. Um, if you guys just have a quick question, drop it down in the comments. I will also respond to you guys. And down in the description below, guys, I'm going to actually put a few links on MCAT study resources. So go check those out because a lot of them are free or they have discount codes. And then one last thing, guys. Sorry, it's so much stuff. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. And then tell me down in the comments if you guys want me to do more vlog videos so that you can see my more day-to-day -day activities. Since I am in a special master's program, a lot of you guys are interested in knowing more about those. Um, and I can certainly do more vlogs about those. Um, or if you guys just wanna see my study habits or whatever you guys want. So if that interests you guys, just drop me down a comment below and I can certainly make more videos of those types. And so with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video post MCAT.